something we can do on that. Uh, that mm -hmm. mile and a half or so of that road above mm -hmm. I mean, we work on it on our tractor mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the trees are well, it's and training it's, for you know, it needs right. a grader right. on it. Um, actually, right now, probably a cow. I mean, oh, that's really bad. Just and, uh, uh, so, so the road from the goes up to the county road 88, and it's within a great length of the So far, so And then, there's five miles of it before it gets into the Forest Service works. Oh, there's a the thing on the bottom of that. I think it's a draft. So those six of us that are on that section, that's our access. Uh, we can access. Are you full of Part of Are you your long residents? Uh, no, part uh, Actually, uh, Lauren's full-time resident. He has some ground up there, but we're all summer, basically summer. We're not asking for snow removal or anything. We just need... Someone to help us dig those huge gullies and holes and ruts. And, and they used to, I guess apparently, we've been there 15 years, but before that, um, apparently like two years before we bought it, they did run the greater up there, and it was, when we bought it, it was, you know, it was very passable. I mean, we had to cut trees and that kind of stuff, which is, you know, that's no big deal. But, um, I'm headed to the Forest Service next. I don't know why they can't cut. You know, yeah. So here's the. Yeah, oh, Cameron's great. Yeah, yeah, he's really good. Yeah. And then, see, you know, we have, if it's a county road, it's uh, right away out so far. And we have a say on that. I was hungry. He got, okay. he can, it's a, he got proposal, but it's, uh, they still save the their trees. And it's in our right way with their trees, and they own Well, they cut ours last time. <laughs> they goofed up and cut our trees and took all the timber with them. And never told us they were even going to be there. But then, like I said, they didn't go far enough back. They, they went about 50 feet. Maybe 80, but they need to go about 150 feet because those trees keep falling over on the fence and falling across the road. And, you know, oh, I mean, we spent all the summer fixing the fence. Yeah, that's how I so, anyway, I'm headed to talk to Cameron and see if there's anything we can do there. But, you know, if we need to cut some of that timber wider to get, to get a greater up there, because, um, like I said, that five mile section. Said, we're shaping the entire road. And I mean, it's almost to the point we can't drive it. So, here, here, just so you know, here's the situation. The county road is made to the entire road. It's not a day road. It has been part of the road. But uh, we have a lot of contracts. And now we get more
a lot of times they'll do that if there's enough volume. If they would go back 150 feet on both sides of the mile, yeah. I don't know how thick it is there. Oh, and if the wood's still good. Well, that's it. Yeah. You know, there's all this deadfall. There's a lot of it. The truth is, the truth is, right now, you know, we're so far behind. I do quite see the bit. Don't waste the time. Yeah. And like, I'm we do a to... wonderful job, you know, up to Lawrence, but, you know, I mean, I, I'm thinking, gosh, 15 years. Even if it's once every five years, you know, that we can get a greater... Yeah. 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 And then when Paul gets uh, done with his uh, fire fire season stuff that he's got going on the roads and the yeah. chip ceiling and stuff, I'll try to schedule my time to oh, go with him. That's really nice. Would you let me know? I'm more than happy to go out there. Like I said, I know between my husband and I and a couple of friends, we could cut the deadfall further back. Well, that's what I'm saying. But before you go do that, make sure see what they can do and see what the person is do right there. And if you can get a guy that's... Uh, well, the worst is actually through Lawrence because he never logged the corridor. See, Forest Service and... A couple of people and above us took all the, thank you very much, took all the, you know, they logged, they actually, they actually logged quite a bit on Upper Road Creek. And the Forest Service is hauling their logs out the Forest Road, but then um, the private places that log, you know, they hauled out our roads. So between the logging trucks and all the firefighting equipment and the roads were wet, then, you know, their holes will swallow a truck. I know what you're saying, but there yeah. might be an option that might work out that if somebody can come in and clear both sides and make it worth while, but they can bring it right in too. Yeah, they get and I don't the even care if it's great. Jesus. I'm just it's saying, just you, know, got, you might yeah. have to work it better than just to ask. Because uh, I, I don't see it great. I'm sure I'm sorry. You know, uh, well, it's been well, 15 years. Even next year would be something. When you talk to him, mm -hmm. he did uh, provide some money. After the fire, because there's a rule that says I have to get a fire. That's what I thought. I don't want to have a word with him about that. No, we just hit it from every angle, but I think private blogging is a good idea if the logs are worth it. Well, like I said, they, the trouble is, is it wasn't us that logged, but at, at ours was all. Well, we're just talking years about ago. what's in the right of way, our right of way. Yeah, we will allow just the right of way. Just the right okay. We will allow what's in the right away cut. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys that's consider what I'm right saying. away? They're probably 30, 60 feet. 60 feet on both sides. Oh, but 60 feet on both sides? No, no, no. 60 feet. Uh, 30. Yes, but right. so something that's 90, you just have to look. But what I'm saying is, if you go talk to Cameron and you can see if we can move it back a little bit further. And then see if I can convince Lauren that these trees are.